Hello everyone, down here from Crazy Q Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how you can install Microsoft Flight Simulator X for free, 2017, no viruses, no anything, with a um, multiplayer and the uh, and the full um service packs, service of two. All right. So first off, you'll download the zip file or the raw file. I don't know what it's going to be. Um, which I'll leave down in the link in the description, which has the actual game, the service packs, and the crack, and the uh, um, Demon Tools installer, right? Um, if you want, I can leave the individual links for each and um, every single one of them, but this is probably going to be shorter than just downloading every single one of them. Okay, once it's downloaded, you want to click on Demon Tools, um, Light Installer, yeah, DT Light Installer, the EXE, right? Free license with ads. You just wait for that to load, it only takes a couple seconds, depending on your internet connection actually. Alright, so it's done. Press install. And um please don't um forget to leave a like if you do like it and it does work for you. I will try to answer every question you leave down in the comments below and I will make sure to try and help you out as best as I can. Let's just uh, wait for it. There we are. English next. Or oh, you you can just choose your language, whatever language you want. I'm just gonna put English because like, oh yeah, free license. Next. Then you want to, uh, yeah, you you can take off that one if you want. I I don't really care. Next. Make sure you don't take this on because like, it's like bullshit. Okay. Program files, demon tools, or, or just choose your location. Wait for the download. It shouldn't take long. Updating virtual devices. It might. Um, what happened to me? Because like I've uninstalled it and installed it a whole bunch of times. It will pop up. Um, do you want to install this from Demons Do Lights? Um, just press yes and um, yeah. Then just press run and finish. Okay. Uh, close that. Now, what you want to do is you want to put this to the side, or drag it to the side, whatever you want. Put this to the other side. Uh, can't, I can only put this in a corner. Oh, okay. Now you want to Microsoft Flight Simulator X DVD one, and then uh, double click this. Okay, mounting image. As you can see, the image is that is mounted here. Remember that it's D, the D drive. You need to remember that. You just need to remember that. Just make sure it's D. Alright, scroll down, right click, properties, compatibility, then run this program in compatibility mode for Windows Vista, service pack 2, if you're in Windows 10, it should work on Windows um, 7 too, like you don't need to like press this, but if you're on Windows 7, um, I think you can leave it, okay, press apply, okay, then you want to run it, yes, You're just going to want to um, wait for it. This might take a while, might not take a while, depends on your like specs. Now, once it's loaded, you'll go like this. Just you'll have this black screen over here. Uh, you want to just no worry about that. Oh well, no. Okay, go, um, just press install, then click what I did. It's gonna say it's gonna set up the 2005 thing. And now this is gonna pop up, this is like the main window, where it's actually installing. Um, yeah, and I'll just see you, see you guys in a bit once it's done.
Okay, it's done. So by now, you want to press, uh, okay, it's not gonna do anything. So you want to go back to Demon Tools. You want to right click, I mean, um, left click that, and um, make sure it ejects. Press yes. Then you want to click that. Then you want to go click this, Microsoft Flight Simulator, DVD2, press that, press open, right? So now it's going to be mounted on D2, so that's that's why I told you to remember the um, letter. And you, I think you can close out of that now. Press OK, and it should just continue by itself. Once you get to this screen, you want to press. Uh, you want to just untick both of these, unless you really want to read the README file. Just make sure this is unticked. Press finish. Okay. Oh, the README file. Um. Okay. Now, um, you're going to open and back up the folder, the tutorial folder. Press SPs. You want to just right click on the SP one. You need to do this first before you do this. If it's installed correctly, you just need to click it and like it should work. Yes. Accept. If it doesn't, it should ask you um where your your file um folder is, but that means that it hasn't worked, and you might have to um either um reinstall the files or try to just um. Or um, go into the disk one, launch setup again, and press repair. So yeah, just whatever you do, whatever you do, just don't go to local disk, um, program um, files thingy, it is um, times eighty six, thirty two bit, Microsoft games, Microsoft um, flight simulator, and if you don't, if you want to uninstall it, you just don't right click and delete it. Do never ever 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 do that. I found out the hard way. Okay, so you just just wait for that to be finished and yeah it will get to the screen where it says you have successfully installed flight simulator x um service pack one all right you've pressed close now you go back to the um folder in which you were in then you press um sps again then you want to install sp2 d.msi1 gonna wait for it install then it should just go ahead and do it just press yes okay it will say setup successfully installed Microsoft Flight Simulator X service pack 2 so now you just want to press on um, this one then control that one press control and then um, you want to pre um, click that one then control select that one and that one then you're gonna want to copy then go over to the um, Local DSC, Program Files um, 86, Microsoft Games, Microsoft F Flight Simulator, then just paste, just paste it in there, replace the files in the destination, do this for all current items, and continue. You will need administrator rights, if you do not have them, it just won't work. Alright, now it's done, you just want to close that out, then... Once you're done, you want to just scroll down and look for something called fsx.exe. You want you're going to want to send to desktop and create the shortcut. 
I use for a shortcut because you are going to need it. So, uh, you're going to want to scroll down, press um, send to desktop to create a shortcut. So, you can create a shortcut. But first, you're going to need to right click properties, then compatibility, then press run this program in compatibility mode for Windows Vista Server Type 2. Alright, just press that, press apply, press OK. I mean, it might work without it, but I found out the hard way that it might not. Double click on that, press yes. Now you're just going to have to wait, and wait, and wait. So, so you're going to want to go to, wait, so you're going to want to, you're going to want to go to fsx, fsopen.co.uk, get the IP address, so I'm going to join the UK one, because like, I live in the UK, so. Alright. So once you've got the IP address, find sessions. Is it gonna say try to connect? And it should just work. There's a high chance of it not working. Yeah, and it's gonna say just um it's just gonna change randomly and it's going to change the um, thing. 
And here you can choose wherever you want to be a pilot. You can just step in some rubbish there, although it's optional. Change your airplane. I'm gonna go be the I don't go and bother. Right, yeah, yeah, you see your name. Right, now I use, I'm just gonna choose where, where I want to spawn. I'm just gonna I'll say Heathrow, because like that's popular. Then just okay. And okay. Now you're just going to want to press join session. And I don't know if you can see this. Now you're just going to wait for this to load. It shouldn't take too long. Now I'm going to teach you how to put it in 1080p and you are done. Or um, your resolution. It really doesn't take that much um, resources. You'll see why in a second. Alright, so now this is just going to load, just wait for it, like, for a second. Still loading. Just wait. You can take the tutorials, um, I recommend you to do, th I recommend you to do that, because, like, I flopped. So, like... Alright, so... I can't really see anything. So I'm just gonna start off the plane. Well, as you can see, it does work. It's really low graphic intense. So like, you might be able to play it on like modern computers, even if it's just a crappy laptop. You should be able to run it. I'm taking off here. And, um, I said I'm taking off here. Just take off. I am horrible at this game, so like, don't judge me. Oh god. I'm just gonna go to my tail view. I know you can't really see anything, it's because of the lightning right now. But yeah, I'm just gonna, as you can see, you can. It's fully working with multiplayer, as I am in multiplayer right now. Alright, so yeah, thank you for watching and. Uh, I hope this tutorial worked for you, and if it does, um, please leave a like and subscribe, it will be like really appreciated, uh, thank you.